a reality. But I think as priests, you know, as men of God, we try to change the situation. It's that the situation of darkness into joy. But right now, it's darkness for them. But they see the light very far, and they will get there. But if we have one priority right now, is to build the school. And in that school, we have a place for people to worship decently. Because as you can see right now, if there's rain, we can't, we can't stay there on the shed, so we have to go somewhere else. Lower net is a place, as you can see, that needs help. And looking at the people, no matter the little they have, and they're so happy, they, they are very excited. There are some existing um, uh, schools belonging to, to the government, but most parents, they don't really send their kids in those schools. The reason is that the teachers don't get paid. If they don't get paid, they don't come to teach. So you can send your kid to school and they spend three, four hours not having a teacher to teach them. So this is why the Episcopal Church is everywhere we have a church, there's a school. We do believe in education. It's about roughly 200 kids, but it's a tiny building. We fit all the kids all together, but we just separate them like with a, uh, with a board. They say this is first grade, second grade, third grade, and you know, fifth grade. And, and we don't have enough benches really to, for the kids to sit in town. And some kids, they work very far to come to learn it. Some work one hour, some work one and a half to get there. I think the school plays a great role in this community. That's why the kids are so happy to come in the school. The education is like a package, you know. Not only we teach like mathematics, English, Creole and everything, but we teach other subjects as well. We also teach them like, I mean, how to be in society, we invite them to come to church at least one Sunday every month. By hearing the goodness of Jesus, some will change. Because we, we do believe that there are some special virtues that will still need to, um, to take place in the school to teach people. Because the model we set in the Episcopal Church, so the lay reader have some knowledge on healthcare, education, and the gospel. You know what I'm saying? So, He's everything. <laughs> it's everything in Haiti. A priest is not only a pastor. You're a social worker. You're an engineer. You, you're everything. Because people just rely on you to survive. So you have to be there for them. Those kids, they are the future of Haiti. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, I was in that same way. But look at where I'm right now because of the church. The way it is now, it costs us about 50000 And when we need another 10000 to finish it. But uh, I would say like uh, roughly 65000 The reason I add the other 5000 is because the distance mm -hmm. for the material. So but 65000 we'll have a brand new school there. We didn't have any. I mean, so thanks to Simba telling me that send money to pay the teachers. So we pay, we have five teachers and we pay them 60 I mean 60 US dollars every month and we use the rest to buy food for the kids. You could get jobs that pay more good money somewhere else. Why teacher? It's because uh for example So we want to help people from the community we want to give back what they did. And also the reason we want to teach is we don't want the kids go Miles away to go to school. He likes to teach and he likes to see kids go to school. The partnership is not, to me, is not only one way thing, it's two ways. And I mean, we can start by you know praying for each other, pray about our partnership. like you to help us to press to spread out the words on Haiti because things are really difficult in Haiti. So if we can have more people that come and witness what I've been experiencing in Haiti that would be helpful when you spread out the words beyond ambassadors to the world.
Thank you. I think one of these days, our lower net will have this beautiful school and they hope for that. And we will work very hard to make that happen. It's a dream that will come to reality. And I'm sure. And that's why I invite the people of Samba Tell Me to really, you know, not only be partner with us, but friends, you know, help us um, to build the school. As you can see, we need a school very, very badly. So, and I know God is good. We will, we will make it happen.